Hey and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm showing you how to create a categories grid with the help of Jet Woo Builder. The first thing that you need to do is to go and create product categories list. So in here I've got six categories and each of them has a couple of products and every single category has a category thumbnail and a short description. So this is the basic preparation that you have to do before you go and create the categories grid module and for now when you are in Elementor editor on the page where you want to add the categories grid module you need to go to the elements and scroll down and find the jet Wool builder tab where you will see the widgets and you need the categories grid widget you just drag it onto a new section and what you see is a basic setup for your categories grid module here in the general tab you can apply the basic settings for this module how it is going to be displayed and as you can see the first thing here is a category preset so we have five basic presets and when you choose one of those presets the title the description and the count of products in the category will change its place so you can play around and find the style that you like the most and anyways you can later tweak this preset but it just gives you a basic setup to work with and I'm going to go with the third preset here you can choose the number of columns that is going to appear in this grid if you want to enable a slider later be sure to set the categories number to the maximum number of the categories that you want to be displayed in your slider. So here you can add the gap between columns and between the rows, equal column height, and I have six categories in total, so I'm going with all six of them. And for now you can also hide the empty categories hide subcategories and hide uncategorized items like so so it can be displayed in grid or it can be displayed in a slider here you can tweak the order how the categories are going to appear you can sort your categories also set the size of the featured image or the category thumbnail and some other settings where you can totally change the look of your items in your grid so now the carousel you can also enable a carousel like so and you got these two arrows and you can click on those arrows and the items are going to appear once you click like so here you can set how many items are going to appear You can enable or disable the arrows. You can also use the dots navigation. So here are going to be the dots that are gonna say how many items are there. But I'm going to just disable them for now. And as you see, there is a lot of other settings. So you can really make your slider as convenient as you want. Now in the style tab, you can change the look of your slider or of your grid. Here are the settings for the column, the category item. For example, when you choose the category thumbnails as a images with no background, you can set the background color so all of your images will be on the same background. Also the border type. Here we can set how the items in your category grid are going to behave when you hover over them. But we're going to set these settings a little later. Here we have the category thumbnail. And since I have the text over here and it kind of overlaps the image, I'm going to increase the padding of my category thumbnail to 
somewhere about 45 so it looks a little better then when you go to the content and you can also set the background color the border type hover border color etc then in the title you can tweak the typography you have the basic typography settings background color the color on normal and on hover you've also got the same settings for the count which just means the number of the items in the category and the settings for the description that in my case because i'm using the preset in my case, it appears only when I hover over the item. Now let's go to the overlay. You can also set the overlay for your items. It can be on normal or only when you hover over your items. So let's choose the gradient overlay. like so, and when you hover over it, I have the gradient overlay on top of my items. Now when you hover over items, you cannot really see the text because of the color. Now let's go to the category item, and here we can change the color of the items when you hover over them. So let's set the title color to white, and the color of other text elements to white as well. So now it looks way better. Also, you can tweak the carousel arrows. You can change the position and the look of the icon. So let's increase the font size. So they are a little bigger. Now let's move it a little bit further to the sides. Like so. You can also change the style of the carousel dots if you have them. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Now you know how easy and fast it is to create categories grid with the help of Jet Wool Builder. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.